things classified. In that group, do you realize one group of person doesn't it? Mary doesn't know what Bill's working on. Bill doesn't know what John's working on. Why? Because it's all classified. That's why, people, the right arm doesn't know what the left arm's doing. Do you think the collector knows what that auditor's doing? You know, that's, it is just a huge monster. It's 44,000 employees all out there doing their vouching, okay? But they'll just hide under classification. Well, what is the mandate? What really is the purpose of Revenue Canada? other than put fear in your mind. False evidence appearing real. Fear. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. But what is their mandate? It's simple. They're the largest collection agency in Canada. What do they do? They collect money. Taxes. They collect. That's They're to collect as much as possible and usually as fast as possible. Why? Because we're 54 billion, that's with a B, dollars in debt. So they're out there, what? Trying to get as much from you, and you, and you, and you, as possible. That's their mandate. Being a CRA agent, remember it's an agency now, they are supposed to administer that act. It's a large document, over 4,000 pages. They're to administer the act, but seldom do they administer the act. They always interpret the act. It is our opinion that we're proposing this. Well, they're supposed to administer the act rather than interpret it. The lawyers, the judges, are to interpret the act. They're to administer it. And the other thing is, do they do it legally or otherwise? Well, what I mean by legally or otherwise is simply discussions you have with CRA should be limited to nil. If anything you want from a CRA is, what would you like to know? Put it in writing so that I won't get confused of what you really want. But what do they do? They ask the question, with a question, with another question, with another question. If you can remember the first question and the seven questions, you don't know. Do we call it entrapment? Sure do. You know, do you have a car? Yes. Do you have a company car? Yes. Do you have a personal car? Yes. Do you ever, on and on and on. Zip it. Keep it. You're allowed to ask them in writing what they'd like to know. Otherwise, Revenue Canada is nothing but a big vacuum cleaner. Just sucks in information. Ma'am, you have no idea what they have on you. Is your file this big? Or this big? Or this big? Because information comes one way, their way. That employee you let go for the wrong reason that partner that really doesn't like you. And the best one we used to always love was the pillow talk. Did she know a lot of stuff? Well, it always comes in. Never goes out. Why? Classified. Remember that. Uh-oh, this guy doesn't look too happy. Why? They only have to use this one little word, eh? Denied. You, denied. Huh? Especially you. You definitely deny it. Those aren't allowable, those shoes. I know they're work boots, but no, nope, not good. Denied. That's it. That's all they have to do. And they'll come up with the famous line, it was personal. It was personal. Well, you know what? I'll sum that act in one sentence for you. In one minute. Any outlay for the purpose of earning income that is reasonable, not personal in nature, and not capital in nature is what? An allowable deduction. How simple can it be?